Hi, I'm Venus O'Hara and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to share with you the story behind the film Secretary. Dun, dun, dun. Secretary is one of my favourite films ever. If not, it might be my actual, the favourite film of my... I love it so much and it's been my favourite film now for many, many, many years. I've seen it so many times and if you are unfamiliar with this incredible film, it was, I think it was filmed, it was made in 2002 and the protagonists are Maggie Gyllenhaal and James Spader and it's a very it's a kind of um, submissive BDSM film but it's um, it's very interesting because James Spader's character in it is called Mr E Edward Grey and I think, I think that might have been the inspiration of the Fifty, 50 Shades of Grey but this story of the female submissive is very, very different from Fifty Shades of Grey. And it's about a secretary, who's Maggie Gyllenhaal, who starts working for a lawyer. And she's a typist and there's no computers or anything. It's all very old school with typewriters. And just to kind of summarise it without giving away the whole story, um, she has to type letters and then a couple of times or when she makes a spelling mistake, the lawyer one day puts a big red circle around the mistake and then summons her to his office, gets her to read the letter out and then he starts spanking her. And she loved the experience so much that she starts to kind of make spelling mistakes on purpose. And that's all I'm going to tell you because it gets very, very interesting um, after that. And I really love this film because um, it's not so much about the spanking, it's kind of like about the, the kind of the erotic energy between the characters and how playful and provocative BDSM can be. Because I don't, I've never really been attracted to the kind of um, dark dungeon, latex and leather world. I, I used to practice BDSM a lot and I, I still kind of can be mentally turned on by it if it's in an, in an art form, but it's not really something I practice at the moment. But this story is very kind of normal because I think BDSM can be present in a, a simple conversation in a in a cafe. It doesn't really have to be behind closed doors all the time or, or in some kind of intimate scenario. So I, I love this. Um, I just love the play out between these these characters and how it almost becomes a twisted love story. Oh my god. <laughs> So anyway, um, I discovered that Secretary was inspired by a short story in this book called Bad Behaviour by Mary Gateskill, and it was published in 1988. And I've had this book on my shelf now for many, many, many years, and I, I did read the, the um, short story Secretary when I first got it, and I was very how would I say, I don't think disappointed would be the word. It was a, it was a real eye-opener because it was nothing like um, the film. And I know that happens a lot between books and films, but it was very a very different energy in this short story. It wasn't about a twisted love story. It was just about almost sexual harassment at work, basically. And it wasn't, it did not leave a good taste in my mouth, whereas when I, at the end of Secretary, it was like, oh my God, isn't it wonderful to meet someone who's, a, who, who's as weird as you are and you can really connect on a, on a deeper level if you kind of share your deep uh, secret passions with someone else, you know? So, so that was, I was very, um, I was quite surprised. But anyway, since I've become a massive bookworm now, I thought I would pick up this book and read the whole thing. And there are nine stories in it. And... I read one a day because every morning I have my orgasmic breakfast and then I read a chapter of a book, whatever I'm reading at the moment, and these stories were very unsettling. <laughs> they were kind of about, they have a kind of BDSM theme throughout, but the protagonists and the characters in the book are just so not, they're not aspirational or inspirational and they're not, they're, there's no feel-good factor in it at all. And it makes you kind of think, does literature or film, does it have to actually have a positive message all the time? Because I know that that was something that um, was a, a criticising point of Fifty Shades of Grey about how negative that um, message was about the virgin and the rich guy. But then this is like all these kind of really, kind of, <laughs> how would I say it, 
very disturbed and messed up people in this book and they are not someone you would they're not role model material whatsoever but still I think um, they do serve a purpose to entertain or just, just to kind of not everyone it doesn't have to always be about a message I don't think yeah so anyway I finished it today and I was kind of like glad because I'm, I'm looking forward to my next book now but um yeah it was a very um quite disturbing and uh let me just read something that says here writing about writing about human nature in its most perverse and hopeless gate skill has created an intimate and almost beautiful series of images mm. so the nine stories and some are better than others and some what i found were was that there were lots of characters in the stories and for short stories it was quite confusing to know who's who and what the relation relationship was between them but yeah reading secretary again was um just as eye-opening as the first time but I now I remember it better and it was just uh, still very very disturbing but going back to the erotic and fun side of secretary about um, spelling mistakes it actually when I first discovered the film I actually it actually inspired one of the most erotic um, encounters I've ever had in my whole life it was just amazing I was working in a in export sales many moons ago and Mondays are the kind of day when uh, I think it was, I, I read in from some survey or something that it was the most popular day on um, online dating sites. Because I imagine people have not have had a weekend without having any sex or any kind of intimate connections. And Monday you're back at work and you think, oh my God, I've got to change something about my life, especially when you're single, of course. So anyway, I um, put, oh, I saw an ad on a kind of Craigslist equivalent and um, it was in the erotic section and it was a guy who was talking about um, he kind of had this teacherly tone saying that you will come to my class and you'll be wearing a pleated skirt and blah 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 and I'll spank you and this that and the other and I just seen secretary recently when I when I found this message and I thought it would be quite quite funny and just to entertain myself in the office to reply and I replied with loads of um, spelling mistakes and I wrote it in in Spanish and I said I'm English and I totally everything every single word was um, misspelt and I said that I'd been looking for a teacher like him for, for so long and, and I said I, I'm English but I've been in Spain for a long time but as you can see I make quite a few mistakes that's because of the lack of discipline in this country so um, it was really funny because he just thought I was some 50 year old guy taking the taking the mm. so we had this um, exchange of messages over several months and he just did not think that I was um, <laughs> a woman at all at some point so we had this exchange of messages for, for, for several months and it got very 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 heated and um, and we did end up meeting and and kind of having a special class yeah, it was it was one of the most erotic moments of my life because finally when um when he came to when we did um well we kind of like did this uh, role play where I was the student and uh, in the in the short skirt and getting spanked etc and it was just absolutely wild and also what makes it even more fun is was that it all happened on a Christmas day and that's the kind of day when uh, People are kind of feeling sorry for themselves if they're not in normal situations. So uh, for me, it was like the best Christmas ever. It was just amazing. And also, when our encounter happened six months after the first message, it seemed as though the, the foreplay had lasted for six months and the actual sex we had was over in, in, in 30 seconds. It was just like, whoa! <laughs> it wasn't like a 30 second shag it was like a, a six month one with a quick climax at the end yeah and it was very 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 erotic all inspired by spelling mistakes so yeah that's but it's very difficult to do that now I and mean, sometimes i've been I've, I've, I've kept in contact with this person over the years and we are we've become very friendly just friends and uh, over the years i always try and you know write um messages with spelling mistakes but it's very difficult with the autocorrect <laughs> it ends up becoming a different word entirely so that's not quite that the uh that's not, um, not really a good idea if, if they don't really understand what you're trying to say anyways yes that's it the uh the story behind secretary bad behavior by mary gateskill and if you are inspired to know more about 
the story behind Secretary. I'm going to leave a link in the description below, and it probably won't be this um, this edition of it because there are different ones. But the the word the stories are still the same. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this, and if you have any um, any books or or films to share with us, uh, I'm always looking for some new inspiration to inspire my erotic mind. And just leave a comment below if you can suggest any more any more uh, books or films, or if you have any suggestions for new videos, don't hesitate to write to me at venus at venusohara.org or on Instagram at venusohara. Thanks for watching.